Everyone has days when not having got out of bed feels like it would have been the smartest strategy. Monday, when emerging markets virtually fell out of bed, would seem at first glance to be one of those. But hold those duvet day dreams. This sell-off was overdue, and unless the Federal Reserve actually raises rates next week, giving form to the fear behind the market move, a prolonged panic should not ensue. Emerging market equities have just enjoyed their strongest and longest outperformance compared with developed world markets in six years. To date in 2016, they've outperformed in total return terms by 12%, according to BNP Paribas Investment Partners. The case for backing emerging markets is based on their better growth outlook compared with the developed world and the expectation that earnings will follow suit. It does also depend on the Fed not turning ultra-hawkish. Markets, however, still only think there is a 30% chance of an interest rate rise this month, and for all its talk, the Fed has shown little sign in recent years of really wanting to shock markets. Valuations on emerging markets had certainly run up prior to Monday's sell-off. Equities had enjoyed 10 straight weeks of inflows up to last Friday, according to Morgan Stanley, for their longest cumulative run in more than two years. Now that's considered a sell signal, or at least a take care one. There is another factor in emerging markets' favour, the lack of an alternative. Developed markets are close to their most expensive levels in 200 plus years, according to Deutsche Bank's annual long-term asset study. But this is the short view after all. Since emerging markets swung back into favour following the post-Brexit turmoil, buying EM has often felt more of a case of nothing else on than a real conviction risk on trade. And so it remains. That doesn't, however, mean it's wrong, just that it is crowded. Although at least now, a better valuation than it was last week.